morning we got lot information i think i mean i, I even i am loaded up with lot of information to take back to bangalore <laughs> okay um a short introduction about me first uh, like uh, my name is ajay kumar uh, i'm the uh, program director for ero wired i'll just sh play a short clip later what is ero wired uh, so i'm backing up with almost 14 years of experience uh, i was uh, been working in singapore first of all before that i am i want to tell you about my graduation because uh, i was uh, very thirsty about gaming so i flew down to singapore to take out my ug in bachelor's of honors in gaming and animation i'm very like a very very i mean i got a good support from my parents also that's a great thing i want to tell you that's a good support and followed by i was working in singapore and dubai and after coming to india uh, it was working with all with universities that was a great stuff i got and i've been designing curriculums uh, for ug programs and uh, pg programs and now i'm with ero wired where ero wired is every second bike you see in the floor it's like hero bikes hero motor car bikes right hero bikes used to see right now it's a surprise moment for a lot of people that hero wired is into education also right now that too they are into gaming also right now of course i got that wonderful opportunity to set up for them and uh, with partner with our first program is partnered with nordwin gaming uh, of course nazara so in between is there so this is about me i am backing around almost 14 to 15 years experience okay of course from morning we got loaded up with lot of information about gaming and what each one of them took their role example google play open play they had their insights and of course the panel talks with came up with lot of informations everyone told lot of informations but i would like to i can i think my session is in the right spot i think where i can say summarize a lot of things and add up more points and my presentation will be a kind of a supporting more towards the students and indie people definitely because i always into that areas i like to work with them more so that my presentation or my talks every time supports lot of students and indie people because i motivate lot of people to develop their own startups i mean mentoring people for developing their startups in the gaming space ar vr and metaverse so of course i am working with lot of production companies and uh, top notch companies in gaming i will show you that details everything um before that i think i will use uh, i'll take a momentum I'll, i'll take this great moment to showcase what is ero wired just for a second your comfort zone starts where the questions you ask start making the experts uncomfortable but then you aren't even here for anything comfortable not for a cushy job not for a 9 to 5 not for a fancy designation you're not made to settle for anything less than what ignites your spirit you're not here to write code you are here to rewrite the future you're not made to design games you are here to change the game you're not here to mark your attendance you're here to leave your mark on the world you're not here to be created for jobs but to have jobs be created for you you're not here for the purpose of making a living you are here to make living full of purpose you're not here to upgrade your skills you are here to upgrade the life of billions you're not here for the rat race you are made for the human race you are not made for anything small In fact, you are not made for anything less than creating a dent in the universe. Hero wired, be made for big things. Okay. Uh I hope uh I mean how many of you got it right or not? I don't know what did this clip. I'll just take a moment uh, again moment to explain what is hero wired. Hero wired is a wired is like V I R is virtual and ED is education. we step into all the niche programs in the market 
and we get people, we train based on the industry requirements and we align the curriculum as per the industry requirements and get supported with the students and we place them as per the needs in the market. We not design the course for today, we design the course for next down the line in the market. So of course, that's how the gaming is also started. So we have partnered with Nordwin in such a way and we are the Asia's first program to launch on the eSports management program. And the batch, I can proudly to say that I've been a good evangelist converting one set of 70 people across sectors. I got lawyers, I got engineers, I got engineers means mechanical people, not even don't know how to code. I have, I have BCOM students, I have aeronautical students. I was really like inspired like wow, these many people are interested in gaming but they are finding a choice to choose which is the right part to take it. That is the only thing they are, I think that's where they are searching out. So I have been very happy to use this program to convert so many people into the gaming sector. It's really a overwhelming response. Even we have started our batch too. Again, we got a very good response in this space. So, coming to the actual topic, <laughs> aside about Eero right now for time being. How many of you have students here? Students. Students. How many of you are students here? Okay. How many of you are professionals? Working professionals? Cool. How many of you are companies? Any studios here running studios? Studios. Cool. <laughs> I think I have a mix of people in everything. Okay, as I told you, today I'm going to talk about uh, detail about a uh, lot of in insights in gaming, which I'm going to start with the power of our gaming community, then followed by the industry and in in the market, which I would like to share it with you about that, and the publishers. Of course, a lot of information we got, but what is the actual publisher which I am and my team has been connected, which we can help you guys to take you guys to connect to the direct publishers and talent pool expectations, which is a lot of studios. We have been talking repeatedly across the states, pan India, repeatedly. I'm meeting a lot of people just now from the morning. From morning, I mean meeting a lot of people. Uh, they're discussing about what is their requirements, what they want, what is the points they miss, what are the people whom they hire. Where is the gap they see? Everything was discussed. And last but not the least, this is to all the students and indie developers, what is the suggested platforms which people are not tapping in? I want to discuss about that. So this is where the, my agenda starts with. I love to say always the power of gaming communities always all with all of you guys. Without you, nothing can say this as the power of gaming community. So in this, when I say power of gaming community, I broadly bifurcate them in this map. I think many of you would have seen this map a lot of times in online. I would like to share my thoughts here. Either you guys would have been into any of these sectors. Example, you may be a good game developer, or some people would have a publisher connect, some people would have a software developer, some people, how many of you played uh, game tournaments here? What was the latest tournament or how many of you played tournaments? What was the game tournament? How many of you played game tournaments? Esports game tournament. Have you played the latest tournament? Any tournaments? Oh my God, then esports is slightly weak here. <laughs> okay, so hardware developers, any hardware? Any hardware based people? No, again that is weak here. Okay, streaming. How many people do stream here? YouTube streaming. Streamers, YouTube, ah, finally, wow, <laughs> that was like, oh my God, even that is going to go zero, that's really good, okay. So, of course, a uh, lot of people makes together this industry, that's very important. But today, my current topics and everything discussion will be towards the content centric, because recently I'm talking to a lot of companies. I think every company we're talking about, you have to make a lot of games, you have to make a lot of, uh, I say a lot of uh, like publish, you have to do the target, A genre, B genre, C genre, D genre. Everyone was talking about that. But to understand the facts here, we have lack of content. We have lack of content. 
Do you guys agree that or not? Yes or no? Do you lack of content or not? Yes or no? Geo games, still looking for content. Geo distract, looking forward for the glasses content. You take, you name a device, they are lacking for content. Correct or not? Yes or no? Yes or no again? Yes. Lot of devices, there are people doing lot of hardware. But content? No. Content is way, way lesser. Now, of course, from morning, lot of people are talking about how to make quality content. First of all, basically, we don't have content at all, first of all. First of all, we don't have content. We have such a big pool of talents we have. But content, no. Content is way, way lesser. Very few people are making content. Very few people are making content. Many people are doing content, but they are scared out of to bring it that to the market. Many people are doing content. I've been seeing a lot of wonderful content, but doesn't stick into Behance profiles, Artstation profiles, doesn't come out to the market. What is the point of making that content? If you keep such a wonderful projects I've seen in the students' projects. I have been into a reviewer, into a lot of colleges. There are wonderful level of content. But as Machia told, game communities are there. Discord servers are there. It is not coming out. That is the open truth here. How many of your friends together want started an indie developer, something like that? Any two friends together started an indie developer like that? Indie developer started a small company. Anyone is like that? Any two friends together started a company? Wow, nice. Good. Oh, that four pair. Nice, nice, nice. I have a wonderful uh, set of pair which I want to refer to south side. Uh, like two people started a company and one designer and one developer. They are rocking the market right now. And that's named nothing but one of my good friends. It's a company name called VLoadIn and Mario Royston and Mr. Dilip. Two people together, they know what they want. They know how to take the entire team together. They are making a wonderful content. And they are targeting the hyper casual market. And they are in the top 10 in the US market. If you, the latest game was Desert Dial. And repeatedly they are making so much of content. And this one point I would like to bring it to the students, those who are here, request the first game or the 10th game or the 50th game. We don't know which game is going to be success. But whatever the game you have, make it to public. Don't keep it with you. You don't be a judge of your game. And very, very important thing, when we are talking about publishers and everything, I think I was expecting one word to come out from many of the panels. I was eagerly looking out for that one word. Who is going to tell me that word? OK. Uh, how many of you are uh, working for, I mean, you guys are working for a lot of game genres, right? RPG or whatever so and thing. But do you know who is your publisher you are going to launch? And what is the concept he is looking out for? And what is the market for that? And whether it will sell or not with him. Have you started checking this before you started making a concept? Any one of you did that? I will repeat this. I will repeat this again. You should, you, either have you decided your publisher? Do you know what he wants and what is the current trend he is looking out for? Example, it may be like a theme based on vehicles or it may be on animals. It may be on anything and such. Or your entire team is aligned to it before you create a concept. Have you thought about that? Everyone were talking about do a game, do a game, do a game. But before doing a game, you should know what the publisher wants. Example, or take any a hyper casual publisher because I'm very close with, I used to now lot of times go on to repeat hyper casual because I'm very closely working with hyper casual publishers. I every month I get a report from them. A, first, what is the current month report based on the TikTok trends? And what is the other trends report, social media trends? They will give us what is that? And with what is the last six months? Are the trends are rising on the same round or different? Number one. Number two, whether what is the theme going around? What is the mechanics, inner mechanics is going around? And whether 
are that mechanics are in the same interest with the target audience. Every month, there is an open report in online. It's an open report. It is available in online. So, anyone who is going to do a game to me, they are expected to align to that. In this, many of the independent developers as that report you can check up and a lot of people you would have also haven't it but my point is when you make a content make sure it is aligned to that then first of all my first choice is first choose a publisher then plan the reports and as they told i seen uh, investors told and a lot of publishers told that they are approachable you can ask them email them saying that i need your reports and they're open to give it so when you make a content, first <laughs> decide the publisher, see what he wants, then put your creative thoughts in that areas. But many of the developers do in different ways. They have their ideas, they are trying to take it to the market. So my suggestion is, because this, as I spoke to a lot of publishers, this is a common comment again, I got it from the, I'm just trying to be a representative of various publishers in the market. Content development, which I was talking about. Content development, there is a lack, very big, very big lack, I can say. Very big lack. In I mean, any forms of content, as you say, a, public, a person is reviewing a game. Example, you made a game, 10 people review, let their team review it. Let them game, let's go to the market in the form of blogs, articles. Let it go on. Content. We are not targeting only in the form of only gaming applications. Let it take a multiple medium to go out. Like Google was talking about, they are taking to do it for the various platforms. Spider-Man, when we talk about first time, we all saw in the pixel format. Am I right? Now you know, right? It is talking about VR. We are talking. We are playing the game, virtual reality. You know, Spider-Man game in the virtual reality space. Tomorrow, I'm not surprised. We go to Hololens also. I'm not surprised that. So I hope you guys also have an idea and you have a vision. But take it to the various forms, take it to the multiple platforms. So content and the entire application can take any shape. Tomorrow you make, as we are talking about, tomorrow any games you make, please target that you are reaching to an esports market. Because esports market can build a game in a different level where they can take it to a different market. I have been, I mean, you guys also, have last year IGDC, how many of you attended from here? Last year IGDC? Last year IGDC. Next time when you attend IGDC, please attend DreamHack also. Because DreamHack, same building, same place, just behind that. When I was there, lot of esports teams are playing a normal simple tapping game and trying to bet with the players or the fans who are coming up there. Like equal to Tony fans, equal to Sachin fans, eSports fans are in that level. I was seeing last DreamHack after the tickets sold out, people are running, bashing all the grills and everything. That is the first time even I didn't see before that way. Wow, like Sachin is nowhere. If Sachin stands there in that spot, also I don't know whether they will see Sachin or they will see that favorite esports player. That is the market where a person can create. Multiplayer, any multiplayer, please try to see where you can take it to the esports. Some kind of a branch where let them play it. That's a possibility and metaverse and lot of people any games which are my first project before i don't know whether i was working in the metaverse there is no name for that first time when i working they called me and say gave me that project as design 360 that was because dubai people to be very frank they are very lazy they will not come out in the morning time or it is too cold or too hot because they don't come out <laughs> emirates basically so uh, we designed a mall for them where they can, using virtual reality, they can go shopping. They wear a clothing. If they select the clothes, automatically, if they select the body shape, it automatically, when you click a t-shirt, it will automatically give a ramp walk, saying that how it perfectly fits on your body. So any 3D content, 
right now too many 3d avatars avatar.me i think you can see a lot of avatars coming up right they are looking forward for looking various styles of avatar right now that is also a content t-shirt shirts guys content is no limitations if you are in the content market tomorrow your service your business will be definitely in the top because you are the one person working with all of them here you don't have any limitations so content rules here application rules to the core i have a friend who she is working on a gaming application she extend that to ar vr right now she took it to the interactive right now she is converting that to the virtual reality space also she started with the gamification application now she has extended within multiple branches definitely it's sellable market that too she is not targeting like you guys or like me or not she is targeting kids she got the right target audience simple item simple train simple apple still works we are talking about high level right raji we are talking about ludo game we are talking about high fi look graphics interactive photo realistic still content like that also selling in the market there are a device and hardware attached to it lot of devices available in the market if you guys don't know like touch magic it's a one of the company who makes a customized hardware to that based out of pune i personally visited and they are doing even for the arcade zones game zones you would have visited a lot of game zones right wherever you have visited the devices all belongs to them only they only made it they only distributed all over india so such kind of a content it is required and they are expecting also very simple games in arcade machines have you seen complicated games yes or no in arcade game machines have you seen complicated games can't yeah no right so simple game still sell do you guys agree simple game still sell we no need to write big stories big concepts nothing required still simple game sell they are looking forward for more than 50 developers right now <laughs> they are looking forward for 50 developers they want every unity developers by the way i underline unity developers 50 developers they want they want to make content only for arcade missions which you are seeing every 3 months they are updating it seems which every game zones wherever in the malls you are going to see so this is the power of the content okay when you say market everyone discussed about the market about apps market and usage of uh, applications market usage of any other form of markets they were talking about of course everyone agrees this market like mobile market is in the very high stage the, you guys agree that right definitely you guys will be agreeing it correct but what is the immediately next market up ready for it are we tapping for it because everyone saw mobile phones does anyone know what is the usage of indian people smartphone users and where are we in the top 100 countries or top 10 countries in smartphone usage in smartphone usage where is india you can rank them in countries 5 10 20 30 seven, one, two. Where are we? Any numbers? Wrong guesses will find. Tell me, I'll I'll uh, happy to show you some numbers. Where are we? Two. Okay. Any other guesses? One. Wow. Okay. Any other number? Last one number. Some random number will go out. Please come on. Tell me. Two again. Two. Yes, we are in two. we are into because our mobile phones went to that penetration thanks to thanks to thanks to <laughs> because they have taken it into that level so but it's not the limit it's not the stand there we are not standing only there we have a broader market for other sectors that only we are going to discuss and that's what i'm suggesting you guys to step up into the market and we have a funding support for it and those who are thinking about funding sir if we tap in someone will fund yes someone is there to fund we will discuss about that you may know them also of course us game market is you know the figures wonderful three digit numbers and in 2077 we are also and to tell you one interesting thing is gamers i was thinking it was 400 million something but recently when i cross check it was reached already 500 and they are telling me this reached to 620 or 720 something numbers 
like someone told her mother is playing my mother is always playing dandy krishna only my daughter is playing rubber cutting game all simple simple games we have a market your mother my mother your grandmother we are thinking about why i am trying to bring it to your notice is not always complicated games and big level games are required here sometimes normal games as the market that is what i am trying to bring it out to your table instead of one game you try 10 games let it go let them go another 15 games who cares publishers are there for it they are takers who cares you are market for it so let us get on so quality applications can make or break the market definitely you agree correct do you guys agree quality applications man make the market or kill the market also saying that gaming is all bullshit <laughs> like someone will tell in the random shit like informations applications in metaverse platform in metaverse i don't know like uh, many people know or not there are totally seven layers but for all the seven layers the third layer is the very 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 important layer which is application layer without application layer nothing happens here content again my word backs to the content solid content it may be any forms education medical it can be tourism if you have not tapped into the education market please that's a wonderful market to tap in lot of medical colleges are ready for the gaming content in gamified content in medical if you are civil engineers take your own books convert that into gamified people are ready to take us we colleges are ready to take us please make content for the engineering content there are a lot of takers lot of colleges are ready for it because they are bored out of lecturing you guys or <laughs> the upcoming people they want a gamified content so application even in the metaverse field it's a very 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 important layer can you tell any country which changed gaming after taking gaming as their account which entire gdp has grown up like anything can you take any games like that huh tencent tencent you're talking about company i'm talking about game game any one game any game yes who's that yeah yeah yes yes next 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 yes i heard something here one of my very close people associates have been here in this part talking tom seventh product tenth product after they brought in tenth product when they brought in they were like this was the hit but the seventh product they have to kill it because of this the market went into the market very high it was a great growth and of course a lot of indian players you know guys you know these people all i mean couple of them are here today also and uh, mathi has brought lot of people to the igc also a uh, lot of people are here and this is a question to you guys now can you tell me are you ready to make games and what type of games targeting what anyone are you ready to make games of course everyone will be ready to make games now tell me what for what you are targeting now something tell me wrong what is wrong there okay so definitely companies will be there <laughs> experts are there of course they will be developing their building their own portfolios what are you targeting okay <laughs> let me tell you my answers then <laughs> okay one is my suggestion and uh, based on the publishers discussion html games are mostly required in the market next thing of course mobile games we are already there we are good 103 billion we are there we are we are also still going on we are in the good shape no studies web and xr games that's one of the suggestions which i would like to make it here to the flow and
कंसोल मार्केट सोनी हीरो प्रोजेक्ट आई देर इज इफ यू आर अ कंपनी रजिस्टर्ड इन इंडिया दे आर रेडी टू सपोर्ट यू आई थिंक कपल ऑफ पैनल मेंबर्स ऑल्सो रेफर टू दैट सोनी हीरो प्रोजेक्ट एंड इफ यू आर अ टू फ्रेंड्स टूगेदर इफ यू आर रजिस्टर्ड कंपनी इन इंडिया प्लीज इफ यू हैव अ नाइस वंडरफुल आइडिया सोनी इज रेडी टू सपोर्ट यू ऑन दिस प्रोजेक्ट दे आर वेरी गुड इन सपोर्टिंग इन दिस स्पेस दो प्लीज रेफर टू द सोनी Indian Hero Project, it is on your space where they are ready to find support. All the mentorship, everything can be given to you guys. So such a wonderful initiative which Sony has taken. I think if you are into a lot of Unity groups, the link is already dropped. It is already there in your team. And if you are not of, if you are not there in any of the Unity groups or you are not there in any of the Discord channels, please be part as much as I told. Please be part of it. this was my question which i was talking to you guys are you aligned to the publisher definitely there's a whole bunch of publishers we have that's a very big bunch of publishers we have we have no doubts in that but are we aligned ask your question to yourself are we aligned are we aligned or not of course we established companies who are working they know a lot of brands definitely i'm talking to the experts professionals please you also start making your portfolio start taking to the publisher publisher is ready to make the games ready to sell any games it doesn't care about the company or a professional its only thing is you have a interesting idea those who are targeting majorly gaming it's up to mobile please they are ready to support they are ready to support and of course they are very interesting and they have a as i told you they have a clear cut deck they have a very clear cut deck you no need to worry about anything you no need to go and spend money on putting up people for analyzing the market nothing required they are very very good they are clear cut on what they want they are very clear cut on what they want what team what sub mechanics until that depth of report they are very perfect in that so such a good set of people which my suggestion personal suggestions and very important point this is for lot of people even experts i mean companies may looking out for a right answer when you say you are an expert or when you say you are a student always even i still may ask me question to myself are you a right fit or r i am a right fit one thing i want to understand every time when uh, when you apply for a company for a job people ask you to check please read the jd first before you apply the job my question and my answer to that or something more than that is please don't see that also see that company which are the publishers they are working and check more information about the publisher then you get into the company because if you run a company or you are going to work and work in some company there is a big gap between you and something like you're putting a ladder to the sky something between the experts and the company's expectation like you know in the facebook and all can they what parents think what friends think lot of memes coming around right something like that so the thing is kindly please understand which publisher they are targeting what type of games they are trying to make and the publisher what is their expectation and how far you can make a support in that when you start a company when you put a friend next to you please align that proper that makes a solid impact on the market or the assets whatever you are putting to the market that's like everyone in the same language that's why you are talking everyone talking about the same language so when you are hired or when you are hiring please check this whether are you aligned to the company and the projects and the publisher because we are gaming <laughs> you have to check one step higher for publisher part also what they want that is required here and uh, this part is a very important part before i open this how many of you 
been a part of any game jams game jams 1 2 3 4 game any yeah, i think i asked already the game tournaments any hackathons any game based hackathons anything like that okay have you know what is have you heard about global game jam before global game jam gable game jam my next suggestion is how many of you know indian game developers conference as the students experts award nomination how many of you know that indian in the indian game developers conference every year there is a award goes up for the indie people guys this is a serious gap this is a serious gap you have to check yourself your market you have to check yourself the market where you stand in the market when you participate in the game jams or in this kind of a tournaments or in this kind of an hackathons when you submit your games when they evaluate they have a jury of members that means you will get to know where are you in the market whether your games are getting selected or not when you participate in the game jams or build your own game every year this happens every year biog happens every year global game jam happens in the first month jan to feb within these two months this year it was happened in the february global game jam build your own game every time it happens on the month of october and september and awards will be part of indian game developers conference so to test yourself to see you and your friend together align the project go based sudden like revealing the latest themes on the last minute they'll give you a themes and please submit and 48 hours game jam 24 hours game jam there are a lot of game jams happening around us if you are not aware please as i as much as told please be part of some discords you will get to know something or other gable game some game jams are happening be part of that you will get to know where you stand in the market be part of build your own game be part of submitting your games to the indian game developers conference there are a lot of people nice judges reviews and you can meet them in the hyderabad where you can talk to them show again your game oh then they will recall they are very nice stand explain what is the gaps and they will go they are very good in that way so of course those are very interested in playing games don't just play games <laughs> be part of some tournaments because i said this all this to the my ug students because i'll push my students from first year itself they know or not try i'll push them into the well like they have to swim and come back so something like that logic we try to implement so of course nothing late at least do right now be part of some or other things some or other game jams some or other game tournaments hackathons get to it for companies there are a lot of fundraising events happening uh please alert for every indie developers and the companies and for the in individual experts and professionals please be part of any of the things so last but not the least i would like to connect you guys to the various publishers i'm happy which i mean many of them are here those who are not here also i'm happy to connect them if you want to get connected and if uh, companies are here we are happy to get into partnership because we understand lot of pin points from the industry and we try to incorporate that into a curriculum and create a curriculum based on that and generate the talent pool based on that we are happy to do that and we are ready to support more if you want say i want to talk to you, some other industry connect people more and more people from across the globe or across the pan india we are helping you to do that support please feel free to reach us i'm really happy to support you or we our team is ready to support you my last statement is always keep your dream very big don't say tomorrow i can make gta <laughs> let the gta be in the plan start set your goals correct take action the small step of it don't do a gta from first day itself that's what i tell used to tell my students i would like to tell you guys also and thanks for the opportunity and thank you guys